Ruck and their players have been diving in. So uh, I think he's warning them once more and a player has to go to the bin. There it's is just, a player it's, down. It's breaking the rules. It's slowing the game down. Swansea are doing everything right at the Ruck. Cardiff are messing it up. If Cardiff keep doing it, they have to be punished. They're still inside their own territory, Swansea are. Robert Evans to the right side. There's nobody on number 11, Mike Wheaton. He charges forward. Squip kick forward. And now, what happens? Cardiff recover the ball. A squib kick forward. A Cardiff defender was there. He picked it up. He joggled it. It is knock on, is it not? That is correct. Fantastic pace by the Swansea winger. Number 11, uh, I think it was uh, Wedden there for Swansea, getting the ball on the outside against his opposite number, sort of just sort of going at normal pace to begin with, then just turned on the afterburner, scooted around him. The nice little kick through was pulled back, which I, I think the ref actually let go there. Centre running through, putting good pressure on the uh, Cardiff fullback. The Cardiff fullback knocking that ball on. Excellent position here for Swansea now. A scrum inside the Cardiff 22. They really want to take some points from this one. One set of fans cheering, another booing as this could open up the score for the first time this evening. Robert Evans, a long look at those poles. There he goes, the kick. This time it is good, the flags go up and for the first time, someone's on the board and it's Swansea as they lead by three at around the 15th minute. Fantastic this kick by the uh, Swansea number 10, Robert Evans, after the pressure of missing the first kick, combined with the amount of noise reverberating around this arms park. I'm sure you can hear it through the radio. It's absolutely deafening. He really needed that kick to get his confidence up. Two missed kicks, and I'm sure that his confidence would have been down. But he's got that kick through, his confidence up. Swansea are up, and they're leading 3-0. Swansea will have the advantage playing 15 against 14 now. This ball is good. 6 nothing. Swansea. Things couldn't be going better for Swansea at the moment, you have to say. Uh, a kick put through the post by Robert Evans, leading 6 to nil. Not only that, they have an extra man. 15 versus 14 for diving in at the ruck. It's got to be the fourth time that the referee has warned them. Swansea now really have to take advantage of these 10 minutes they have with an extra man. Cardiff will be pleased if in 10 or 15 minutes they're just in this game still holding the score as it is 6-0. And welcome back to downtown Cardiff. 6-0 Swansea is a beautiful performance by both sides of cheerleaders. The Cardiff cheerleaders led by Sean Jenkin, third-year microbiology student. She's been the captain since September, cheerleading now for three years. Well, that was a 35-girl performance, and they today uh, performed a level six routine, which is the highest level of competition in cheerleading, and they came to second behind Nottingham at the uh, cheerleading nationals. Second half just underway here on a nice night. The rain has not fallen. And so that is good for both sides. And now Cardiff down by six. We'll try to get going in the second half as Krieg, welcome back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I've, uh, okay. I've, I've been fixated with trying to fix my, uh, my headphones for the last five minutes. Okay, I have Typical the Typical express here. radio, i got to say. Well, I believe uh, the crowd is cheering. Do we have another streaker? No, we do not. We had a streaker just at the beginning of halftime, quickly taken down by the um, great job done by the men and women who uh, are with the security here. Uh, that brings the number to two this evening. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't have bets before this varsity on how many streakers <laughs> there would be. So, uh, you know, it's all meaningless. So as many as possible, I think, is the... Uh, or, or, sorry, as few as possible, in fact. I'm sure we can uh, expect more, though. Cardiff have really come out uh, firing on all cylinders at the start of this second half. They've gone straight into the Swansea 22 and got a penalty. Not sure what for there, but they've opted for a scrum inside the Swansea 22 perfect opportunity they had one right at the end of the first half to score they have one right at the start of the second half can they take this one trailing by six points to nil of course but that is such a small margin two or three seconds of magic a try and you're right back in the match well certainly Cardiff are trying to find that energy their captain Mar uh, sorry their coach Martin Fowler probably gave him 
a good talk during halftime. Make sure you boys get back on track. Grab the momentum early in the second half. And perhaps Cardiff can repeat what was last year's victory, the third in varsity history. Nice tackle by one of the Swansea players. What a tackle that was. And Cardiff restart. They are inside the Swansea 22 now. Mike Schroffer deals to the right side. And there will be a penalty for Cardiff. Penalty for Cardiff. This could be their first chance. No, it will be scrum, pardon me. And a Swansea scrum. So I read that entirely wrong. Forgive me. The ball is turned over, however, by Cardiff in possession. The whistle blows again. Are your earphones now working? Oh, they're, they're working now, thanks. Yep, that's good. Okay. <laughs> we missed you for some time there. Uh, if they were supplied by Extreme Radio, they'd be perfect. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Extreme Radio and Express Radio doing a great job of combining today their efforts for the varsity coverage. Again, our text number, if you want to drop us a note, is 077-222-6388. You can listen to us live on our website, expressradio.co.uk, and I'm guessing on your website as well. That's correct. Uh, www.extremeradio.org being our address. You've got the .org. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> this ball takes a tricky bounce, and it's still rolling, still loose. As deep in a Cardiff territory, this ball's kicked into touch by Cardiff. It'll be a Swansea line-out inside Cardiff midfield. And that line-out in that position has been made simply by the hard work of number 11 for Swansea, who is uh, Mike Wedden charging towards the uh, player trying to reclaim that kick. If he hadn't, if he just stood back, the player would have had time. He'd have had time to compose himself and kick that ball a long way, as it was getting right down his throat, giving him no time to think, just kicking that ball straight out. Swansea in a great position now, just outside the Cardiff 22. Reese, who admitted having fish and chips last night as a pre-game routine preparation. A little bit of an untidy pass, an untidy catch. Swansea do lose a lot of yardage. They are inside Cardiff territory, however. They go to the left. Cardiff as Swansea do. Now remember, Alan Lewis was sent off just a few minutes prior to halftime. I believe he has not yet returned. As this Swansea Cardiff kick, pardon me, makes its wealth, makes itself into Swansea territory. And there will be a penalty for Cardiff. Is that diving into the ruck, that Jester? Uh, no, I, I think that was not rolling away at the ruck, uh, the player from Swansea. It's making the tackle and then not rolling away, keeping his body in the way, making the uh, Cardiff player unable to uh, move the ball back and set it up for the ruck. So uh, that's why that penalty has been given against Swansea. Cardiff free kick is kicked. It was a punt kick. And it's kicked into touch. It'll be a line out. And uh, yet another ball lost. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're counting them. I don't know. It looks like that one's been got back as well. Oh. I think they've been pointed out. You've got to give this one back. It's our last one. <laughs> the line out goes long. It's well executed by Cardiff as they're trying to make a break for it. They're inside the Swansea 22. Fantastic line out there by Cardiff, utilizing that excellently, popping that ball down. The player coming in at exactly the right angle through two players, making some good yards up through the center there and uh, taking the ball to probably about five meters from the Swansea uh, try line.